Good morning, metalheads of the internet, and welcome to a new episode of The Metal Meltdown, where I am a touch more hungover than usual because I went out and partied real fucking hard in downtown Toronto, which I normally do, mind you, that itself is not abnormal. But uh, I partied extra hard this particular night, this particular time, because it just so happens to be my birthday. Today, November 22nd. Isn't that fucking nuts? And that's not all. Anna, the lovely Dark Moon Desires, a regular co-host and contributor here to the channel, her birthday is tomorrow, November 23rd. So you know what would be super fucking great? Leave some birthday wishes. More so for her than for me, because my birthday has technically already passed. But that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty great. Just a, just a fucking thought, you know? I don't know. I won't force it out of your system. Is it technically Chompy's birthday because it's our birthdays too? Maybe. Maybe. We don't, do we actually know when Chompy's birthday is? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. When did you buy him? Like August? July? I think so. All right, well, it's not his birthday, but you can leave birthday wishes for him too if you like. Why not? Fuck it. Three birds, one big fat drunken stone. All right, now that I'm done celebrating myself and everyone else here at Metal Meltdown HQ, let's talk about this brand new album from German tech death crew, Obscura. A Valediction is the sixth studio album from German technical and progressive death metal band Obscura, who, in all honesty, I have not paid a ton of attention to over the course of the past decade, not so much because I actively dislike them, more so just because, for whatever reason, I'm just not really into their particular brand of technical and progressive death metal. Perhaps knowing this, perhaps realizing that after a slew of physical lineup changes, maybe it was time for Obscura to make a stylistic change as well. The band's mastermind, lead singer, songwriter, and guitarist, Stefan Kummerer, has decided that the band will now embrace influences from Swedish melodic death metal, from bands like At The Gates, Arch Enemy, early records from Dark Tranquility, and In Flames. Now, from what I understand, some of these ideas, some of these influences and flavors and spices were indeed present on the band's previous studio album, Deluvium, released back in 2018. But to paraphrase the fine gentleman at angrymetalguy.com, on this album, the band embraced these influences so heavily, so passionately, that at the core, they are arguably now a full-blown melodic death metal band. Riffs are consistently razor-sharp and abrasive. Stefan's vocals are eerily reminiscent of a young Thomas Lindbergh across the record with high-pitched screams and barking vocals. There are a lot of vocal and guitar harmonies and guitar solos that are very slick, very bombastic and explosive, very much in line with what I would expect from classic In Flames and Arch Enemy. The band even go as far as to hire Frederick Nordstrom to produce the record, a gentleman instrumental to not just establishing but also defining the sound of Swedish melodic death metal, the sound of bands like the aforementioned At The Gates, In Flames, Flames, Arch Enemy, Dark Tranquility, and many more like Soilwork, Opeth, The Haunted. This dude, honest to fucking God, is as important to melodic death metal as Scott Burns was to American death metal. Like, without Frederick Nordstrom, so many of these bands and so many of these classic records, like Slaughter of the Soul, The Jester Race, they don't fucking exist. Or at the very least, they don't sound as fucking good as we remember them. Now, with all this in mind, a very cynical and cold-hearted metalhead could make the argument that uh, a valediction is slightly derivative, slightly generic, that it is uh, just a bunch of mellow deaf worship with some technical riffs thrown in, and I suppose on some level, you're not objectively wrong. I mean, let's be real here, it's not as if there's anything on this record that you haven't already heard in some capacity, not just from the bands we've already mentioned, but from the hundreds and thousands of other death metal bands that have popped up within the past 15 to 20 years. But to Obscura's credit, I think they do just enough to tweak the formula so that a valediction can avoid not only being labeled as yet another cookie-cutter slice of late 90s mellow death worship and nostalgia, but to avoid it being forgotten and disregarded altogether, which, ironically, I was going to do, as I said before. 
I guess what I'm trying to say is that while a valediction may not be especially original, it is definitely pretty fun. Like from start to finish, this is just packed with classic Swedish death metal energy. From the rampaging Forsaken, which is loaded with technical guitar sweeps and tasty prog metal guitar licks, to Solaris's crippling and surgically precise tech death musicianship, complemented nicely by some snarky lead vocals in the vein once again of classic at the gates, to the soaring classic in flames meets neoclassical metal of the beyond, which honest to God might have some of the best guitar work on the record. Or at the very least perhaps tied with the Neuromancer, which has some genuinely pretty fucking sexy finger tapped solos and harmonies right near the very end that just bleed and explode pure fucking hot metal. Like this is the kind of shit that when you hear it as a kid, you immediately make your dad drive you to a fucking music store so you can get a guitar. Across the record as well, there are some acoustic guitar pieces that provide a little bit of color, a little bit of contrast. They're very warm and tender, if brief, not too dissimilar from the type of intros and interludes we might have heard from classic Opeth. In my opinion, it would have been cool to see more moments like this further weaved into the actual technical prog mellow death metal, whatever the fuck we're calling it. But all things considered, I have no major concerns or criticisms or complaints. At 51 minutes long, the album does feel a little bit chunky. It does feel like maybe there's a little bit too much fat on this tech def mellow def steak, but not to the point where you're like, hey, the steak has been ruined, because that's not the case. The steak is, is very well seasoned. It tastes delicious. It's got like a guajillo butter thing right on top. Delicious greens right on the side. You know, you got a little homemade mac and cheese. It's nice. It's not revolutionary. It's not mind blowing unless by chance you've never listened to any tech def or melodic death metal. But damn, is it fucking good. I went into this record not really caring about Obscura, not really expecting a lot. I, to be honest, expected a completely, totally generic tech def record that I would probably forget the moment I posted this review online. I came out of it having a new appreciation for a band, enjoying their semi-new and fresh take on both technical and melodic death metal, and I would as such give this record an enthusiastic 3.5 out of 5. I kinda now want to actually sit down and re-listen to some Obscura, see if there's anything I really did miss along the way. I look forward to seeing Stefan continue to expand upon this style in the future. Perhaps the next Obscura album will just be a full-blown progressive melodic death metal record. I don't know, but that sounds pretty fucking wild and fun to me. A Valediction gave me all the killer solos and riffs I could have possibly wanted from an album of this variety, especially coming hot off the heels of what was, in my opinion, a slightly underwhelming and disappointing record from Exodus. Not terrible. Don't put words in my mouth. I know y'all Exodus fanboys are pretty fucking upset. But, you know, just calm down. Like, holy shit. Yeah, I honestly don't have much more to say. It's just a really, really, really fucking good record. Sit down, crack open a beer, enjoy some gnarly riffs, have fun. 3.5 out of 5, it's pretty fucking good. I wasn't expecting it to be pretty fucking good, but it is. And that is it for the Metal Meltdown. I'm not an expert, nor do I claim to be. So what do you think? Do you like this record? Do you not like this record? And what do you want to hear from me next? And thank you for watching. Make sure you press subscribe right here so you get updates on the Metal Meltdown e fucking immediately. And as always, you have yourself a fantastic fucking day.